Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Corner, and today I'm going to show you how to make a wall of, or a door, or a wall of blocks that open, whatever you want to call it, uh, with these uh, new pistons added in 1.7. This is probably possible with the uh, one point, uh, or the mod pistons as well, but seeing as it just came out, I felt I should build something to commemorate it and show off to you guys. So, um, this is my first design right here. This is with a lever. See, the problem though is you can't really retract it, and there's no way to put a lever on the other side just because of the way it's set up. Because this goes straight to that redstone torch, which, when it's on, powers the block above it, which goes to that piston right here. And then the other three go to those two in the last one. Um, and you can't have something on the other side here. Like I even had, I tried pushing a piston right here. And, uh, like the piston would actually be taking up this block of air right here. Which I thought would block the redstone current, but it didn't. Um, which is pretty cool. So you can use pistons in redstone circuitry that's tight because it doesn't block redstone. So, um... Yeah, so I kind of scrapped that and started working on it again. On a different one, I mean. And this one is definitely a lot more compact than this one. Um, the only thing that shows is this little torch right here. And even that can be hidden. I just didn't want to make this one more block out. Because um, it already, you know, it's pretty small. So I don't really care about the torch. But if you do, um, I can show you how you fix that in just a minute. So this one works both sides with pressure plate. Yeah. So, I'll show you how it's built here. Just destroy this real quick. Go down into the inner mechanism. Now, most of it is actually just hooked up to this pressure plate over here. This one's just over here to continue it, because I'll show you why. All right right here. Alright, so that one's wired under that one, so that when it's hit, you know, current travels all the way down here to this. Um, this is the redstone repeater, so it's only a one-way current. It only can go in, not out. So that's the other pressure plate. And the first pressure plate is whoops, shouldn't have destroyed that. I need that. Alright, sorry, this is a little uh, weird wiring here, so, come on. I'll just place it. There we go. Alright. So what happens, whoop, sorry, uh, what happens right here is when this pressure plate is pushed right there, it sends out the signal to these two redstone torches, one of which is powering this flock, one of which is powering this one right here. And that turns them both off, because um, the redstone torches both, both turn off. And when this one is off, that one's on, and that turns. Come here. It turns. Gosh dang it! All right, get out of here. All right, I gotta go around. Go the long way. All right. So that turns on. Uh, another redstone torches is under here. They're stacked like that. So this is one is above the other one that I just showed you. Now I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Awesome. So that one powers all this up here, and that just turns on those two pistons right there. And uh, that's basically it. It's pretty easy um, if you know a little bit about... If you know a little bit about redstone. If you don't, I'm going to show you how to build it. So, no biggies. Let me just cover this back up real quick. Do, 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 do. All right. And I'll... Yeah, I'm sure I'll just replace the wall real quick. So it doesn't look ugly. And there you go. Um, so we're going to build it behind this one. And what you're going to need is four pressure plates, which I don't have. Uh, I need to find... There we go. Uh, 
basically what I have is, I don't know if you can see this or not on the screen, I'm dragging it in front, is um, a picture with all the items that you need or you can use, um, all the item data values, what I'm trying to say. Alright, so I need some pressure plates. Uh, you can use either stone or wooden, it really doesn't matter. You only need two. Excuse my typing. I'm terrible at typing. Um, you also need whatever material you want your door frame to be out of. You'll need four sticky pistons. Right there. You'll need, uh, I think it was two repeaters. Maybe it was just one. It might. Yeah, I think two repeaters. And probably like five redstone torches. I don't remember. No. Just put 10 in there and a whole bunch of redstone. So let me get some more redstone real quick. All right. And I'll be starting a series soon explaining like the basics of redstone and all that jibbery jabbery stuff that confuses most of the Minecraft. Uh, well, I'm not going to say most. That's a lie. Um, confuses a lot of Minecraft players. Um, but I'll be doing a crash course, well not a crash course, like a course on basic redstone and not so basic redstone, like this. So, let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is dig down and put your pistons down. Two sticky pistons, right? Right there. Alright. Then you put your chosen door material. I did glass, just it looks cool when it's extended. And then you need to climb up and place the pistons. And because of the... This glass will be removed, so don't worry about it. Ah, voice crack. Voice cracks are awesome. Alright. Whoops. Come on. I'll just leave that there. So you put one, and obviously it's facing to the side, so we don't want that. So we have to go over here and put this one on the bottom. Go up and delete this one. Just because you can't right-click on them to change direction anymore. That's been removed. So do that. Delete all this glass. Place two glass blocks. And this is when it will be open. See, the challenge is you have to make it so... Um, actually need the pressure plate one space away from the, the actual door. So let's go down. And I believe how I did it was one redstone torch. Yep. All right. Torch. And don't worry about destroying stuff because you'll be able to cover it up later. Whoops. Getting dark. So just wrap that around. Because of better redstone repeater connection, you're now able to do that. I don't remember when that was updated, but it's there. So, we'll go around the back here. Right. And add a, rep add a repeater for the other pressure plate. Oh, we're going to cross over some wiring. Uh-oh. I'll just get rid of that because we're not going to use that in a while. Um, I might actually just delete that one, because I don't need it anymore. Get rid of that, too. Alright, so we get our wiring down here. Sorry if this is a little tedious, but... And I'm not talking, but I just kind of had to figure out... Um, how I did this already, and rewire it. And I just want to make sure I don't get it wrong, because then it would be misleading you guys on how to build this, and that's not good. Where is that? Alright. So that's right there, so I need to go over here. And you want to make sure these don't get close to either the pistons or the, uh, the other wiring or anything, because then that'll mess up your whole creation, which is not good. So that's under the pressure plate. Uh, pressure plate. 
and a yap. So all that's good. And then over this, whoopsie. Okay, so yeah. So at this point, go ahead and step on your pressure plate. Pressure plates. Um, the other block should be above this one right here. Um, go ahead and step on both of them and make sure uh, it works. Oops. Um, just like that. So it should retract just the bottom two. And if it doesn't do that, then go back and watch the video and make sure you got it all right. So you should have a wire leading from uh, the other pressure plate all the way, avoiding wiring, um, back to this one where you need to have a repeater so it doesn't feed back into the other one. And then you need to have, under this one, you need to have the two torches on either side and then just a little loop that feeds power into this. So, not too hard, pretty easy to do. So now we'll go up higher. Alright. So what you need to do is, to make the signal travel up, straight up, is block repeater, or uh, block torch, I mean, and then block... If you place a block on the torch, like the top of it, it re it puts it above it. So, pretty easy way to put blocks on, and then put another repeater, or I mean another torch, and make some steps up so I can get up there. Good. All right. Put some blocks around this. All right. All right. So there's a signal, and that should be powering that one. Yep. Is it powering both of them? Alright, there we go. So there is your finished design. Now, uh, all you have to do is just cover all this up, and you'll be good. So basically, all I did is, redstone torches can carry power up. Straight up, if you have the torches in that fashion. Right there, so. Test it. And there we go. Works on both sides. Um, yeah. Just make sure you test it before you cover everything up, because then you'd have to, like, tear everything off again. Which is rather unpleasant. Oops. Alright, I'm going to cover it up, and uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, I would really appreciate it if you would leave a rating down at the bottom. Um, it helps me get some more views and stuff on my channel which is pretty cool so um it literally only takes a f like two seconds for you guys to click that button so i know you have it in you please for the sake of flying babies um press that like button and show some love give me a warm tingly feeling in my in my soul or something like that so thanks for watching this video uh, piston door tutorial and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in well I'm not gonna see you guys but you get the idea in other videos goodbye